Hello and welcome to this service for Trinity Sunday. Today we think about our great God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. To assist you in this service you'll need the reading sheet, order of service and newsletter. You can find these on the website or on the email I've sent you. Select the playlist or click on the link to get the hymn at the end. And so, a moment of quiet before we begin. We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And so we sing the hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. Secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. So with thankful hearts, let us confess our sins to God, our Redeemer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, 
through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy upon you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. And now, the collect. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now to our readings. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the oaks of Marmara. As he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day, he looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them and bowed down to the ground. They said to him, Where is your wife, Sarah? And he said, There, in the tent. Then one said, I will surely return to you in due season, and your wife Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent entrance behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in age, and it had ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. So Sarah laughed to herself, saying, After I have grown old, and my husband is old, shall I have pleasure? The Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Shall I indeed bear a child now that I am old? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? At the set time I will return to you in due season, and Sarah shall have a son. But Sarah denied, saying, I did not laugh, for she was afraid. He said, Oh yes, you did laugh. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and the Son and, the, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. Today is Trinity Sunday. Amazingly, the Bible is consistent in so many of its themes, and one of them is God as Trinity, three ways in which he shows himself. Today's first reading takes us right back to the beginning of the Jewish race in Genesis, the first book of the Bible. Abraham is visited by God in the form of three men, three angels. They bring him the promise of a son to impossibly old parents. And Sarah, the future mum, does not believe it. She laughs, then of course denies it later. But how could this be? Our God makes the impossible possible, creates life from death, a son from barrenness, and Isaac is born, the father of Israel, and our faith, our faith, is born. I wonder whether you've noticed the picture usually on the wall behind me as we begin these services. It's a Russian icon, a special spiritual picture painted with prayer. And it's original by Andrei Rublev. It's 500 years old. Rublev's icon depicts the threefold God visiting Abraham in our first reading. 
Almighty God the Father, on the left, in shimmering ready gold, points to the sun, dressed in brown earth and sky blue, with the gold of government on his shoulder in the centre, who points to the Holy Spirit in sea green and starry blue, pointing in turn to the Father. The Son and Spirit, both linking to earth and heaven, bring us earthly creatures up the hill of life's challenges at the top right, only vaguely visible because of deterioration, via the Son's tree of life in the top centre to the Father's house, heaven, top left. The bowl on the communion table has roasted lamb in it, the symbol of the Son's sacrifice for us, leaving space for us to join the Trinity at the front of the table. With the gold at the front, the witnesses to Father, Son and Holy Spirit. But what are we to do with this information? Jesus' words in the Gospel give us the lead. With his love and guidance in our creation, salvation and inspiration, God commands us to witness to him, making disciples in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. He will be with us in everything we do in his name. And this continues to be true in lockdown, in fear of virus and low economy. Our God can draw the possible out of the impossible for us, bringing life out of this impossibly deathly situation. He has done this time and again in the past. He will do it again today. May that old but telling picture of Trinity bless us all with new visions of who God is. The life-bringing God who loves us so much that he will lead us and all we witness to through complexities of life, onward and upward to the Father's house, our eternal home. We will now sing, Father, we love you. Let us pray. Almighty God, Creator, Redeemer, Sanctifier, bless your whole church and especially St Mary's. Inspire all who preach, teach and spread the good news of your love. Father, we pray for the world, for wisdom for all governments seeking the best way forward in this pandemic. For the United States experiencing racism, 
and its backlash. For a worldwide commitment to peace and equal value of and sensitivity to all, especially the vulnerable. Enable the nurturing of our children and young people, Lord Jesus. Keep them safe and happy, especially as they gradually return to schools in new ways. Bless struggling families with all they need, particularly patience and care. We now picture our loved ones and friends. Strengthen us all in faith and love with them. Holy Spirit, walk beside us in all life's journeys. And hear us as we pray for all who are sick, as we look at the list on our newsletter. And for those who have died at this time, and those whose anniversary of their death falls now. Now together we pray the family prayer that's on our newsletter for the present crisis from Exeter Diocese. God of love and hope, you made the world and care for all creation, but the world feels strange right now. The news is full of stories about coronavirus. Some people are worried that they might get ill. Others are anxious for their family and friends. Be with them and help them to find peace. We pray for the doctors and nurses and scientists and all who are working to discover the right medicines to help those who are ill. Thank you that even in these anxious times you are with us Help us to put our trust in you and keep us safe. Amen. And now let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We will now look at what the children have been doing over the last few weeks. Daniel and Cassie have a homemade pom-pom rainbow in their window. Daniel's been cooking choc chip cookies and chicken stir-fry, homemade from raw ingredients. He also cooked spaghetti bolognese from scratch and then enjoyed eating it. It was Cassie's 11th birthday this week. Thanks Cassie for reading so well. In a letter to Hartman's Hospital, Cassie writes, I'm writing to say a massive thank you for acting like soldiers at war fighting against COVID-19. She mentions the challenges of homeschooling and of Thursday clapping for NHS employees whose smiles are brightening sufferers' lives. Amelia has been baking. This chocolate cake was for her nan and granddad. She made a chocolate hamper for key workers. And she's also been gardening and making up plant pots for her nan. Poppy and Daisy are world record breakers for attending the largest ever online art lesson. And these are the pictures they produced. They too have been cooking and helped to make Indian curry and roti from scratch. And all of this for Daddy when he came home from work. Angus has been getting up to crafting bits with egg boxes and has been cooking. 
he's been watching caterpillars and tadpoles grow. And this cat is very interested in what the caterpillar has become. And he saw swans and cygnets too. Haven't they been busy? Thank you, children and parents. And to everyone, I hope you enjoyed seeing the children themselves as well as their work. Now I'd like to say a prayer for all our children. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, giver of the gift of St Mary's children, protect them. Lord Jesus, who delights in their happiness, keep them in joy. Holy Spirit, who breathes love upon them all, sustain them in that love. And give us, as their family, friends and supporters, understanding, generous and grateful hearts for all that they bring to the world. We ask this in your majestic name. Amen. Amen. Now a blessing upon all of us. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and all those you love, now and forevermore. Amen. And so go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. And now if you've clicked on the link for this service or chosen from the playlist, You'll now be able to sing, How Shall I Sing That Majesty?